You know, in the age of Corona, keeping up with the news can feel a little demoralizing. It's like we've been on a Spirit Airlines flight for a month. Spirit Airlines, the truth is, I kind of miss you guys. So to keep our spirits up, it's nice to take a moment to remind us of the not so scary things going on in the world right now in our ongoing segment, Array of Sunshine. All right, let's kick it off with Ikea, the perfect place to buy furniture that's cheap, but looks cheap. The Swedish company has decided to release an easy version of the recipe for its famous meatballs so that you can make the meatballs at home. Yeah, and since quarantine already has you fighting with your significant other, once you've got the meatballs, you'll have the entire Ikea experience. Now, this is a really cool idea. Although the last time I ate meatballs at Ikea, it gave me some, some indigestion. And I learned the hard way that those display bathrooms are not hooked up to the plumbing. Someone should fix that. But I do appreciate that Ikea released this recipe. And honestly, I couldn't wait to try it for myself. I don't understand why there's extra screws. It's meatballs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I wasn't crying. This next story is for everyone out there who's forced to work from home. Do you feel like your work is taking over your living space? Well, you should thank your lucky stars that you don't live with this guy. Banksy striking again, <laughs> this time in his own bathroom. Yeah, not sure if you'll like this, Kim. Take a look. England's mysterious street artist posting these photos online showing rats running amok during the lockdown in the artist's bathroom. A one rat hanging from a light switch by its tail, looking down at another hanging from a towel holder while squirting toothpaste onto the wall. There's also this one of a rat playing on a roll of toilet paper. There's also one by the toilet, which you probably don't want to look closely at. Yikes. <sighs> Man, I don't know how Banksy did it, but I want in on this scam because when he draws all over his walls, he's a brilliant artist. But when I do it, I'm losing my security deposit. And this must have been really weird for his roommate when you think about it, because nobody knows who Banksy is. So they walked into the bathroom and they're like, oh my God, this is a Banksy. Wait a minute, Mark, do you think Banksy was in our bathroom? And finally, every day we read tragic stories of how many lives the coronavirus has claimed. But maybe what we should also be doing is celebrating the people who've come back to life. We do want to mention one person who was singled out today by Governor Murphy, 26-year-old Jack Allard, was in a medically induced coma after coming down with a virus after spending time on a ventilator and five full weeks in the hospital. The governor today announcing that Jack has died. It was a long month, but slowly Jack rebounded. And last Thursday, he was clapped out by the doctors and nurses who saved his life as he walked out of the hospital. I feel horrible. Jack is very much alive. Jack, we love you. Again, Jack is alive and back home. He has come home, not in the figurative sense, but in the quite literal sense. And my deepest apologies for that. I was just misread everything and I apologize, but he is alive and we are grateful for that. Wow. That was quite the emotional roller coaster. Jack has tragically died, and I'm hearing Jack is very much alive. Good on you, Jack. <laughs> okay, let's turn to Glenn for the weather forecast. Glenn? Oh my God, he's dead. Oh no, wait, he's on the other side. Sorry, Glenn. Uh, what's the weather looking like? I actually wonder if this is what happened with Jesus. Because I mean, what's more likely? That the son of God died and then came back to life? Or that some Jerusalem news anchor just read the story wrong. No, I, I still believe the Bible story, and I'll tell you why. Because my grandmother might watch this episode. Hi, Gogo. <laughs> 